guys welcome back to another video so i have a lot of stuff in front of me and i'm pretty sure it's all brand new stuff like i don't think i've used any of these products so this could either be a really good makeup look or a really bad makeup look so let's see how this is gonna go i did want to look up one thing okay yeah, i'm pretty sure i have everything in front of me can't think of anything i'm missing but i guess we will see as we get started but Without further ado, go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Like this video if you like inspired looks or makeup related content. Comment any future ideas you'd like to see down below, as well as subscribe if you have not. Turn on that bell, like this video, and comment. I think I hit all the bell, all the things. Today's been a very odd day for me. Not really sure why. Like I woke up really early. I've been very productive, but like. I don't know. I've just felt so uninspired lately. I do have my mirror all nicely charged up. And I think this video will be up before. Yeah, this video will be up before. But I did get the iPhone 13. There will be an unboxing video. I know it's a week late. I apologize. But here we are. I knew there was something I had already forgotten. I needed a washcloth to clean my hands and such. So like I said, these should all be new products. I'll let you know if anything's not, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna start off with some Fourth Ray Beauty Coconut Lip Balm. I wanna have my lips all nice and moisturized. So, ooh, ooh it smells nice. Feels moisturizing, smells good. And I like the component. It's like a plastic like lipstick tubey type situation. I like it. Okay, cool. So. Got, again, I don't remember what subscription box I got stuff from. And honestly, watching through all of my subscription videos, and I didn't even film all my subscription videos anyways, but a lot of these products are either going to be from Ipsy or BoxyCharm, I will let you know. So this first one is a Marugula Primer, and it's by Georgette Klinger. And hopefully, she's not bad. My face is not overly dry. It's not overly hydrated, though. It's not overly dry. It's not overly oily. So, we will see how this goes. It is, it just has, like, a nice, like, basic scent. Like, a, a makeup scent. It doesn't smell bad. But it doesn't smell, like, I don't know. It, it, I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell amazing. So, we will see, though. I'm going to give it a minute to set... I don't use primers often anymore. I have a lot of primer, but I don't use it. So I am having a little beverage. I mean, after all, this is an Iowa inspired makeup look. I would say it just feels kind of like a lightweight moisturizer. Not necessarily like great, not necessarily bad. Next, we have the Pearlies Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream with SPF 40. I can't pronounce that one. And then Collagen Vitamin C for this word. Vocabulary was never my strong suit in school, so I don't even know if this is my shade or not. Again, this is from a BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Um, hmm. So I think this is supposed to be, I mean, it's a BB cream, so it's not going to be too bad. It is thick. She was thick coming out of that tube. So let's see. Oh, she definitely has coverage. This shade is light and medium, and honestly, not a terrible shade match and a little bit does go a, like a good way i mean it's a bb cream so huh it's not covering my imperfections but she's definitely evening things out do you notice i didn't use a color corrector today but that's because i don't have a new one and i was trying to stick with all new full face i mean why not we've got products to try and use so yeah i mean i don't i don't really like a glowy finish just because it makes me look oily personally however when i'm using like all cream products it's definitely something i could get behind because then i can just set everything at the end because like oh my god i look like i've been working out in the sun for like all day that's not a cute look for me but next we have concealer by Complex Culture in shade L200. Again, this is a Ipsy or BoxyCharm product. It's really weird. You see, it has their logo here. Nothing on the sides and then everything else on the bottom. Hopefully. Oh, this has a really weird dofa. I actually do remember this product now because of the doe foot i don't so the shade is not bad but this applicator is not it yeah i don't i mean we'll have to see how she actually performs 
I do have quite a bit of breakouts right now. I don't know what is going on, but we're here. I want to see, does it actually give me good coverage though? That's my main concern. Um, it's definitely covering up my blemishes pretty decent. And again, the shade actually is not bad at all. It's not my favorite concealer, but I've definitely tried worse. The real question is though, is this going to crease under my eyes and make me look older than I already am? Again, we look hella dewy. We're not done though. The dogs are even on one today and I'm just not here for it. The next product is this Trey Tresequi, Tresequi. God, I am so bad at pronunciation. But this is, again, from like an Ipsy or BoxyCharm box. It has a nice little brush on it. I kind of want to try the brush, but also like, oh, it does unscrew so you can wash it. Okay, maybe I will try the brush, but it, Looks like this. It's really warm is my concern. But we're not going anywhere. So let's talk about the game. I haven't even brought up the game. So the game is a night game on a Friday, which one, I can't remember the last night game we even played, but what's even weirder to me, not so much the night game, but the fact that it's a Friday game. The only Friday games that I have ever like thought of or heard of are, I don't know how I feel about this brush. Yeah, we're not using the brush. We're gonna use the Beauty Blender. Was every Black Friday, we play Nebraska. So it's really weird that we're playing a Friday game to me. Okay, wait, hold on, what? So I'm using my Beauty Blender, right? Which essentially has leftover product on it and is obviously absorbent because it's a literal beauty sponge. And the product is like gone. Do I double up? Like this side looks okay. I think we'll add a tad bit more to this side, I guess. A tad bit more to my chin, a tad bit more to my forehead. That's, maybe that that's the whole reason why it had a brush with it is cause like, hey, we blend like really good, but if you use a beauty blender, she gonna be gone. I actually don't mind this color. She's kind of subtle, which again, for like a cream product, that's kind of the vibe you're going for. So I'm not, mad at it. I just look so dewy. I wonder what it's gonna look like once I set it. Because remember, I haven't tried any of these products, so I have no idea. Next, we have a Morphe Cream Blush. Kind of dark. It's in a maze. It's a cheek and lip mousse. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to take like a brush. This brush might work. Dip into it, apply it, and then use the Beauty Blender. Oh wow. Okay. She's a mousse, not a cream for sure. I just like, I don't want to waste the excess product on this brush, but I guess we're going to have to because, like, I picked up way, 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 way too much. First of all, my hair lately has been absolutely on my last nerve. Like, she is not staying in place at all. Like, I tried, I have a new shampoo even to try to help control that. And that's not working. I've, you know, tie my hair back all the time now just to try to keep it on my face. But especially when I apply products to my face, it has absolutely been clinging. And because it's always like just a hair or two, like, I feel like I can't find them. Okay. I don't mind the blush. Oh, okay. Looks a little crazy. Let's add a tad bit of concealer. See if we can't lighten it up. Tad. Okay. Blush on the forehead. Terrible mistake. I don't normally do that though. So we learned our lesson. Yeah, actually, I don't hate that. Just beware that that product, if you have it or if you've thought about getting it, I think it's part of the Morphe 2 line. It does pick up a lot very quickly. Okay, I don't think I have any other cream products. So I think we're good to move on. So I, did, oh, so I just have this little e.l.f. setting powder sample and it should be translucent. It just says sheer on it. Where's that annoying sticker tab? I like these little sample sizes because then you get to, I'm just using the lid of my swatch pan. You get to try a product, you get to try a product out to see if you like it or not. But the problem is, look how tiny the holes are. Trying to get product out of this is a nightmare, but I'm definitely afraid of taking that see-through bit off because I don't want product to get everywhere. That should be enough, right? Yeah, that'll be plenty. Okay. If you missed it, I do have my Hawkeye shirt on, which I'm pretty sure you can see the 
Hawkeye logo symbol thingy my bob. I'm telling you, like, I don't know what's going on today. Okay, now I look like I have a white cast. I don't know how translucent this is. Maybe I just used too much? One thing I will say, that concealer the whole time never once creased under my eye, which I like. However, the setting powder is not doing me favors. I mean, this isn't bad, but it's definitely not my favorite. We're going to add a little bit more blush just because blush is my favorite. One of my favorites. I think if I could only live with one product ever, it would be mascara. If I could live with two products, it would be highlighter and mascara. Just because like highlighter is sparkly and pretty and makes me feel all sorts of ways. But mascara just like can make you look more awake. It can complete a look. And especially with like masks still being like a thing, it's nice because, oh, by the way, this is She's So Bold by ColourPop. I'm going to be very light handed on this blush. But yeah, I, well, that was just, we don't, I think we're using this. I just like, I just feel pretty and sparkly with blush. Now I am obviously coating my brush at all angles, but then we are going to, she's nice and coated, dab her off. ColourPop's products just kind of hit different. I don't know what it is. Ooh, okay. I'm kind of living for my eight girl fantasy, but like, Okay, I'm kind of living for this. It's a little much, a little bit more than what I would normally do. Plus it's a little bit darker. I mean, she's a like borderline red blush shade. It's okay. So I'm gonna use, cause I wanted again to try to find like a gold highlighter without using the same exact gold highlighter I've been using. So I found this. I have something stuck. It must be that setting powder stuck in my throat. Found this. I don't know how well it's going to work. This is a e.l.f. Bite Size Duo in Coconut. So, like, I'm not using the brown shade. However, like, this bronzy gold, I kind of want to give it a shot and see what she can do. I want to see if this will be gold enough or it's going to be too dark and leave a cast. So first off the bat, I did take my blush really high. So this does go really well with my blush. Like I thoroughly enjoy this like layering. It is a little more bronzy than I probably would have liked, but it looks bronzy in the pan. So like I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. I am not gonna highlight my upper lip today. I know, what a shame, right? But I have an idea, so stay with me. All my I'm telling you, those dogs are on one today. They're Cupid has been fighting with my Myria nonstop for no reason. Just attacking her for no reason. My Myria is not messing with him. Nothing like that. Okay, so there is a little bit of a cast head on. Not too bad though, but I like it. I like it. We're even trying a new setting spray. I know. So this is the Tarte Arugula Mist setting spray. I love these type of misters. They're seriously the best. The first time I saw a mister like this was on the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Well, um, that's cute. I lost my fan. Well, anyways, and I just love that mister. Is it always the best setting spray that comes in the bottles? No, but it feels glorious going on my face. So, I was originally saving this palette, so... <laughs> I'm really bad, especially if like I was in the middle of moving and like, or traveling or you know, life, something happened. So then I was so behind filming the video that I just saved the palette. I'm like, oh, I'll save that for like a palette of the week. And then I haven't been doing palettes of the week, I, which I plan on getting back into, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use that today. So we're using the Your Golden ColourPop palette and pretty excited you know we love color pop on this channel oh okay wait so uh we can make it work okay so this is our color story we have to work with mainly browns we've got like a couple blues a peach some dark down here mainly a brown palette but that's okay first we're gonna start off with a little clean brush i'm gonna dip into pch which is this all cream shade here put that all over my eyes kind of like a eye setting powder i'm not using my mac paint pot today i did put concealer on my eyes which i know is a big no-no but to stick with the theme of all new products i don't have a new setting or a new eye primer or if i do i couldn't find it 
which I don't think I do. I don't really have eye primers, but the shade smooths everything out perfectly. Taking the same brush, I want to dip into a little bit of, let's see, what one has more golden tones? I don't want too cool. Let's dip into Hidden Gem, which is this shade here. It's a little bit orangey red leaning, like more warm, which is what I want. And I'm going to put this in the crease. It's honestly the smallest wash of color. She's not doing a whole lot for me, but I feel like this palette is a great, great neutral palette. But the thing that sucks is like a lot of my ColourPop palettes, like these big ones. So we have the cool tone one, we have the warm tone one. This one's kind of both, but more warm than anything. And then it has like splashes of color, but then we had like the, the mood palette that you know, again, had some neutral, but some color. I don't know, like, kind of wish it had more variety, I guess. Next, I'm going to dip into a little bit of, let's do Secret Spot, this shade here. I don't know. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just kind of layering this on top to give me more dimension in my crease. That's really what I want and need. Yeah, that's better. And it's still giving me that warmth that I want since this is going to be, I think, kind of like another neutral slash golden eye. I don't know yet. We'll see. I don't really know what I want to do. A lot of times, like, I just kind of wing it and hope for the best. Okay. I mean, I think we're just going to kind of, hmm. Okay. So, we have two darker shades, well, one same shade, one darker shade that has gold flecks in it. I think we're going to take Fisk, which is this shade here, but it has gold flecks in it, I promise. And then use that to deepen out my outer corner. Hopefully we look the same. Everything's good. I had to switch out the battery. Okay, so resuming where we left off, I'm going to dip into that slightly darker shade with those gold reflex. Also, if you hear a bunch of noise and commotion, either one, dogs are just acting out again, which is a very high possibility, or two, uh, I see I have new neighbors moving in, so that's fun. There's a U-Haul like, right outside my window. I'm gonna be honest, in the pan, has really good gold reflex, which I know it wasn't really showing on camera, but I promise, but this has, like, none. I see maybe, like, one or two, but no. That's disappointing. Okay, for the exciting moment we've all been waiting for, we're gonna take Bayshore, which is this gorgeous golden color here, which reminds me a lot of one of the Super Shocks I have from ColourPop. That looks very, very similar. And this seems to be performing like a Super Shock. Look at how like beautifully golden that is. So I'm gonna put this on, ooh, let me zoom in. This always makes, this is always like my favorite part is applying anything sparkly, glittery, or shimmery to my eye because it's always just like so pretty. I'm dabbing it very lightly over that dark brown. Oh, I love this. I'm building it up in the places it needs it, which is really not much because it's just performing so well. Normally, a lot of these, like, I'm already, like, ready to use my finger. So that's the way they best perform, which if it's already performing this well with, like, a flat brush, I would be very, very curious to see how it performed with a finger. Because, like, we're already doing really well. Okay. So far, success. I did get a little bit of that gold under my eye accidentally. I'm just kind of buffing that out. Okay. Then I think what I want to do, yeah, is take one way, which is this shade here, and we're going to take another flat brush, because it also looks, yeah, it's a super shock for sure. Put this in the absolute center. I don't even want to take it up too high. I'm just kind of packing it. It's called one way. It's kind of funny. Again, just to bring light to the very center of my eye. Okay, and then... I'm going to take a little buffing brush. I don't think we're going to do anything under my eye today. Take that same shade and I'm going to put a little bit on my inner corner and brow bone. She, she's a gold shade for sure. I'm going to clean this brush off and then I want to, there we go. I like that. Okay. So, I think I'm good with this palette. I like this palette. Again, I just feel like there's not that much variety 
Then I have another e.l.f. bite size. So this is the brow palette in blonde. She looks like this. I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter shade with a small angled brush. Just take the warmer of the two just because my brows aren't really, I mean, they're kind of cool toned, but not. Okay, maybe they are cool toned. Let me dip into the cool toned. And I'm just kind of using a tad bit of this powder. I don't do my brows often. However, I do feel like I have some like bald spots almost. Not bald spots, but like some missing hairs. I guess that's the best way to put it. So I kind of been wanting just to like fill in ever so slightly. And then I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Anastasia Beverly Hills in shade taupe brow gel and i have not tried this so i'm kind of nervous if i do anything to my brows like for sure your brow gel but if i'm adding any color it's normally a colored brow gel just because i just don't do much to my brows i'm gonna take a little plain brow brush and i'm going to pull out some of that color because i feel like i added too much color i don't know this is where we're at this is why i don't do my Okay, and then I have two colors of liner I brought over. I, let's just do yellow. Why not? So this is a bright yellow. This is a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Frost. She is neon, but kind of living for it. Okay, my eyes watering a bit, but that's okay. Oh, wow, okay. Like, it makes my under eye bags look not great. All right, last but not least, we have the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara, and this is the waterproof one. I actually don't have a waterproof liner or waterproof mascara open, so I chose this one just so that I had a waterproof one. I'm actually going, or I think I'm going, to a pool party Sunday, and I would like to look kind of cute and not so busted, especially since I have been breaking out lately. So hopefully this will do the job. I haven't had a, a waterproof mascara open since my Better Than Sex waterproof bottle. And that was back in Utah. I don't even remember when. But there was one time I went through all my mascaras and they smelled expired. So I then just like tossed like all of them. And that's why I've been trying to be careful and not have too many open. Cause like honestly, every single video that I do, I could probably use a new mascara, especially because like TikTok has all those mascaras go viral and then I go and buy them. But I, I like, I want to try them, but I don't want to try them because like, I don't want to have too many open. Like if I could just get into the really good rhythm of filming every day, it wouldn't be so bad because then I could get through them faster. But I don't know why, but my, mas my lashes never look even. <sighs> no matter what type of mascara I use. Like these look okay. These look super spidery. A little bit clumpy, but it's fine. It's fine. So it's actually funny. This was a year golden palette and my shirt says stay golden. We love that. We love synchronicity. But this is our finished look. I don't love it. I don't hate it. That foundation is not doing the most for me. The cream blush though looks pretty nice if I used like less. I mean, it's another great, it's ColourPop. I already know the palette was going to be good. Concealer. I don't know if it's a concealer or the setting powder, but something's going wrong under my eyes and on my forehead. So I'm going to guess it's a setting powder. Brows look kind of crazy, not the worst. I don't really see the bronzer anymore, which is unfortunate, but that's our finished look for today. Who's the Hawkeyes even playing for our night game on a Friday? Let's see. Maryland at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a late game, but that's all I've got for this video. Subscribe if you have not. Comment any future ideas you'd like to see below or like this video if you like makeup related content or inspired looks. Got tons of videos coming, so make sure you turn on that bell. I've got like almost 20 videos filmed. I just like editing it makes my hand cramp. So like I need to get like a mouse set up so that it's easier for me to edit. And then I feel less like, I feel like the reason why I've been less inspired to film is because I know I'm going to have more to edit and I like don't want to edit. Yeah. But there's tons of videos coming. Like I've got tons of content filmed. So stay tuned. But that's all I've got for this video. Posh, Mark, and Makari are linked down below. All the socials as well as the podcast. Go check everything out. But that's all I've got for today, guys. Till next time.